It was back on November the 27th when the state first announced that they were going to convert this old CVS into a migrant shelter. At the time, a mid-December opening date was given. It was in the end a few weeks late, but today, the first migrants moved in. It was early this afternoon when the first group of migrants were moved into this little village shelter, a huge tent structure now occupying a large part of what used to be a CVS parking lot located at 27th and Pulaski. In announcing the opening, state officials said those moved here were coming from a Chicago hotel that recently had been used as a temporary shelter following a massive increase in the number of people arriving over the holidays. We're moving more than 200 people, families and others uh, into it. I actually visited yesterday. Um, it, it's phenomenal what we've been able to do in a relatively short period of time and, and to accommodate very young children. You know early childhood education is very important to me, making sure these young children have a place that they can play even in a very difficult situation. Um, that's been put into this site. As of this morning, there were 550 migrants awaiting shelter placement in Chicago, over half of them living on CTA warming buses parked at the South Loop Landing Zone, where work continues on the raising of six tents that will be used to provide services to those who continue to arrive. We're talking about the human aspect of it. These are people. They are escaping hardship and coming to the United States in order to look for a better life. At the same time, too, though, you know, they are also new neighbors. How are you going to act with a neighbor that just walked, uh, that just moved into your door next to next door? This is but a small part of what is needed, though, and that is why the governor today also said that they are continuing to work with the city and with the archdiocese to identify future shelter sites. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.